Yes, it's so nice to see good you. Good to see you, Tana. Yeah. Good to see you. Good. I'm so glad we're doing this. This yeah. is great. This is so important for our community. Absolutely. Yeah. Hi, my name is Antonetta Lamo. I'm a physician assistant at the Valley Hospital and I run the Fast Track Screening Colonoscopy Program. Hi, my name is Dr. Holly Paswash and I am a gastroenterologist at Valley Hospital and chair of the GI department. And we're here to answer some questions from the community about colonoscopies. So Dr. Paswash, what is the prevalence of colon cancer in the United States? It's about 4%. What that means is that one out of 25 patients gets colon cancer. Um, it is a little bit higher in men than women, but not by a lot. And we're detecting that, you know, even in our community in Bergen County, we're finding a lot of patients with stage 3 colon cancer. You know, and even despite having such great access to insurance in this community, we are still finding those late stage cancers. So that's why it's very important to get your colonoscopy and get screened for colon cancer, to catch it in its early stages or even prevent it altogether. Why is it so important to have a colonoscopy? Because colon cancer is one of the leading uh, cancers, not just in the United States, but worldwide, early detection means uh, hopefully early cure and uh, preventing mortality and uh, morbidity. It's one of the cancers that's very easily treatable and beatable. Right, exactly. You know, during a colonoscopy, we can find these potentially precancerous polyps called tubular adenomas. These can become cancer. So that's why it's important to get, those, get your colonoscopies. We can get those removed. Why was the age recommended for colonoscopies reduced to 45? Great question. A few years ago, uh, we found uh, that we're finding more uh, aggressive tumors in young patients. Uh, because of that, the cancer societies and the GI societies lowered it to 45. And um, this has been implemented. Incidentally, if you've watched the news recently, Ryan Reynolds, in fact, um, had a bet with his friend and had a colonoscopy. And during the colonoscopy, he is 45. They did find some of the uh, precancerous polyps and uh, took them out, um, and thus hopefully uh, prevented any future colon cancer from developing. People eligible to have a colonoscopy, and it is covered uh, by uh, insurance, 45 and over, and um, that is for patients who are average risk. What does average risk mean? It means patients who are healthy and have no symptoms. Um, there are patients who are at high risk. Those are patients uh, such as patients who have IBD or colitis, um, if they've had previous radiation to the pelvic area, if they have a family history of colon cancer or family history of colon polyps, um, those are not considered average risk anymore. Um, in that case, the age is lowered. So you should check with your physician to see if you qualify to get a colonoscopy earlier than 45. Um, 45 is what we use for a healthy young patient. I personally tell my female patients, you get your mammograms, you get your pap smears, this is just as easily preventable. Um, so we promote colonoscopies. And I wanna ask you, Antoinetta, um, tell me, what is the Fast Track Screening Colonoscopy Program at Valley Hospital? Awesome, I'm so glad you asked. So the Fast Track Screening Colonoscopy Program was implemented as a way to get patients their colonoscopies in an easier and more affordable way. So traditionally, to get a colonoscopy, you see a colorectal surgeon or a gastroenterologist in their office first for a consultation. With the Fast Track pro Program, we can help patients bypass that initial consultation by having them speak on the phone with an advanced practice provider such as myself. We go over some screening questions to determine their eligibility. If they are deemed eligible, we can then schedule them with, a, with one of our Valley physicians based on their personal preference, based on an insurance match, and based on their availability. Who's eligible for the Fast Track Colonoscopy Program at Valley Hospital? So in order to be eligible for the program, there's certain criteria you have to meet. You cannot have any serious medical conditions. Examples of these would be if you've had a history of a heart attack, if you have a history of heart valve replacement, if you have a history of sleep apnea. These raise your risk with anesthesia, so you would not be a candidate for the program. In addition, you cannot have any uh, um, history of problems with anesthesia, and you can't ex be exhibiting any um, symptoms of colon cancer. So these would be such as rectal bleeding or abdominal discomfort or changes in your bowel patterns. For these patients, we would direct them to the gastroenterologist office for a consultation beforehand. Once a patient is deemed eligible, I will send a bowel prep prescription to their pharmacy. We go over all the questions they have via telephone and email, go over all the instructions together, and we make sure all our patients' questions are answered. One thing I wanted to reiterate, and you made a very good point, um, our whole uh, uh, goal with this program at Valley Hospital is to make it easy for patients. Uh, it's, it's really an easy access program. Um, and the other thing we want to do is prevent colon cancer. Colon cancer is treatable, it's beatable, and it's curable. So please take the time out and make the appointment today. And for more information, you can visit our website. You can also give me a call if you have any questions. You know, we're happy to help.